guys, how's it going? Hi, Kelly. Hello. Um, we just recorded a Christmas Academy module for members of the Academy. Um, so this is, you know, content in there for learning Australian English. And we were talking about Christmas, but Kel's just like, as soon as we finish that, Kel's like, oh, I've got another 30 minutes before I want to go to sleep. Yeah. Going to talk about something else. <laughs> so here we are. What do you want to chat about, Kel? It's just because I, we don't have time to do this anymore. Mm -hmm. I remember we had, you know, we would record videos quite often together. Well, back by we popular demand, have... Kel. People want to hear about you. <laughs> I they just wanna... don't have time anymore. Yeah. So, you know, 30 minutes. Before I go to bed, we can... I'll have to look up when the last episode was. I have no idea. I don't even remember. Mm. Maybe when Joey was born. Mm -hmm. I remember talking about her birth. But well, maybe that's what we talk about. Nine months old. What's nine the, months um, ago, sorry. What's the update house stuff with the kids? Maybe that can be the theme of this episode <sighs> where we talk about, I don't know, what it's like having two kids, um, raising them bilingualism how that's going De mm. dealing with the terrible twos <laughs> with Wires, Noah having a full on mm -hmm. high needs baby yeah so i guess if the last one was the birth of joanna and you were talking about the the difficulties and to make sure that it was yeah i know cuz she was um underweight undersized so do you want to give an update on her health and everything so just yeah briefly she at 28 28 weeks we found out she was a small baby and she wasn't growing any, any she wasn't growing anymore. much um and because of that we had to keep on you know close like just watch the pregnancy from there yeah. on until the end so almost Very every closely. single week you were getting scans i was going i was yeah. in hospital every week yeah twice a week for monitoring mm -hmm. um just to make sure she was you know her heartbeat was okay yeah. um was getting enough oxygen and everything so that was quite stressful and then she was born which was an adventure itself you you couldn't be there you got had, you got sick i had gastro from daycare daycare <laughs> um that noah was at had had an outbreak i yeah. think there was an outbreak all around this area yeah. and i ended up yeah puking it and was ridiculous pooping my guts out <laughs> because you had been sick for like much earlier in the day like from like i don't know mid-morning or I don't, something yeah but yeah you know, i wasn't expecting to give birth no anytime soon i mean well at least that know, that day on that night yeah it was probably within day. the next week or two that you were gonna have joanna so, so yeah my waters broke on <laughs> we just like, <laughs> and i remember i just went to the bath i felt something that felt like a kick the baby had kicked but it was really it was quite mm -hmm. i wouldn't say painful but a bit uncomfortable well because it would have been I was a rapture like, whoa. Of the... I, I even did i was like whoa she's going crazy we were mm -hmm. both in bed and you were just like shivering and feeling sick <laughs> <laughs> it was good fun and i was like all right I just I just went to a bathroom to brush my brush my teeth and um i was like oh yeah oh no i remember that mm -hmm. my waters broke because when noah my waters broke broke as well early in the morning mm -hmm. anyway so i went to hospital with my grandmother no, with your mother-in-law. Sorry, yes. With Noah's my grandmother. grandmother. My grandmother's in Brazil. Yeah, you, Noah's grandmother. Too much fun. <laughs> uh, with my mother-in-law. <laughs> we went to the, the hospital. Anyway. Oh, no. I was like, Mom, you've got to go with, with Kel because I can't make it. She needs to be with I someone. We love you to, you know, see your daughter being born. And like, I, I really wanted you to be there. Mm -hmm. It was really special having your mom there because it was like this... It was our little thing. Mm -hmm. It was something that she will f remember forever. Well, that's what I thought. I thought, yeah. you know, as much as I would have loved to have been there, it was obviously impossible. Even if I felt up to going, you, the hospital wouldn't you. have yeah. allowed me in. Yeah. But I was glad that my mum had the ability to go. It was really nice that she was there and she was amazing. She yeah. was poor thing. At some point, I was just holding her <laughs> from the, her, like, what do you call this? A uh, shirt. No, this what? part here that on the neck, like this. I don't know. Anyway, it was just holding her clothes like really, really intensely, poor thing. And um, but she was amazing. She was <laughs> great support. Anyway, so Joe is born, mm -hmm. and it's been it's been hard. Well, I'm not gonna lie. Uh huh. So you give it you give the update. Yeah. So she was born. Everything was she was fine. fine. She was pretty yeah. quiet for the first few weeks, maybe the first month. Yeah. I mean, she wouldn't breastfeed. No. She was. It was a, a combination of her being so small that she didn't have this strength 
to mm -hmm. um, suck and to be like you know to keep going with the on the breast and me being so tired that I just found that I can just give her formula <laughs> and I'm not ashamed of mm -hmm. saying that because well you still pumped breast milk and I gave her the breast milk but you had to use a bottle old, exclusively mm -hmm. and then it, it got me to a point where I'm like this is a full-time job <laughs> it's like oh, like I just can't keep doing this is impossible mm -hmm. um yeah but she, it's not hard just because she is we have two kids mm -hmm. which is like if you if you have two kids you know <laughs> it's really really hard but because she's a very a needy needy cleany sort of baby her personality is like she wants to be on us especially on me mm -hmm. the whole day nonstop. and you had you had a taste of it today <laughs> trying to change Kel snuck nappy. off for half an hour to go to the shops I needed to breathe. And, and I was trying to change Noah's nappy. He'd done a poo. And, and I was, was she was just on top of me. Yeah, wouldn't let me go. And yeah. I'm like, I just need to do this. Can you just play with the toys, Joanna? And she wanted to crawl up on top of me. And I'm like, just <laughs> let get, me finish wiping it, Noah's bum. It's been, it's been really challenging mm -hmm. for me. She doesn't... All the things I was afraid when Noah was tiny. Mm -hmm. That, oh my God, I can't do let this happen. Those things happen with, with Joey. With Joey. And you haven't had a full night's sleep since she's been born. No, am right? I, I have bro I have broken sleep. You're probably four hours at a time max. Yes, and um, some nights are better than others. Mm -hmm. When I get f four hours in a row, I'm like, great, I feel better. Well, like day. the other night, she woke up at two, didn't she? And you were like, oh my god. Yeah, but it's uh, she wake up like it's inevitable. It's she normally eleven o'clock. She goes Hello, down at about you know. six and she gets up at about 11. You know, because you're here. I come out working. here watching TV shows because oh, you're sleeping. Fun. Yeah. And then I hear her crying and you get up and I just hear the door open and close. And it's so hard. I want to do more. But at the same time, Kel's yeah. sort of in her rhythm and, and just <clears throat> is used to doing what she's doing. And yeah. so it is But the hard. thing is, you can help me. You, you well, I help in help other ways. In, some, in so many other ways that um, and when I can't handle it anymore, you take over. Mm -hmm. It happened a few times that she she's she's loud. <laughs> you had hearing loss for a I little did. while because Joanna's scream, her crying scream was so loud. Yeah. And you when you were trying to hold her to calm her down, she would obviously be close to you, your ears. You it's had so, hearing loss. And I still it. sometimes, although I got used to it, sometimes I feel dizzy. Like yeah. I was telling you the other day that I put her down in a cot. She just screamed at me mm -hmm. and I felt really, it was like in the middle of the night, I just felt so dizzy. I had to sit down. Yeah. Anyway, so yeah, and then dealing with Noah's tantrums <laughs> hasn't been fun. Yeah, so Noah's hit his terrible twos, we call it in English. The terrible twos is where they get to the age of about probably 18 months to, yeah. to two and they start throwing tantrums, spitting the dummy, like losing their shit. Yeah, it's over really nothing. And that's the frustrating thing with Noah. A lot of the time he'll be fine one second and then the next. He's trying mm -hmm. to play with something, doesn't go the way he wants, and so That's he just throws it down, screams, him. yeah, and you're just like, whoa. Just That's take the it main easy. trigger. When he wants, let's say, a car to do something specific, mm -hmm. and the car, obviously, the toy doesn't work this way, or he can't manage to do it by himself, yeah. he gets really frustrated. And um, I, we try and be calm and, like, you know, guide him and be like, it's okay, let's try again. But. Mm -hmm. Yeah, he just screams the house down. <laughs> it's just hard. I know, and it's, it's so hard. brutal. I didn't appreciate that until we had kids because it's not... Mm. You can deal with one of those at a time, yeah. I think. Like, if you, if anyone just brought a child to you and the child was just losing it, you'd be like, okay, I got it. Yeah. But if it's happening multiple times a day, every single day, <laughs> for months at a time, you get to a point of just being like... This is, I can see why people, you know, just lose it at their yeah. kids at times, you know, because I remember being young and you'd walk through um, Woolworths, you know, you'd go you'd to Woolies to the supermarket and you'd see kids lose it and the parents would just be like, ah! you know, the parents would just snap and you'd be like, whoa, they're psychos. Like, yeah. how can they not just control it? It's just a kid, la, la, la. And then, you but you don't know what's picture. happening, everything here behind the scenes where the kids constantly at them, yeah. at them, at them. It's really hard to help him regulate himself mm -hmm. when 
we are so tired. That's I, it. Speaking for myself, like I find it really hard that when I can't sleep at night and the next day he's so intense, I find it really hard to deal with him. Although mm-hmm. I prefer dealing with him than dealing with Joey. <laughs> really? Yeah. I'm not, I like to negotiate with him. Mm-hmm. and like I, Well, you it, can negotiate yes, with him. Yes, I can negotiate with him. I can talk to him and he doesn't fully understand sometimes, but he gets most things. Mm-hmm. Um, whereas with her, she just screams yeah. and I'm like, I need to pass this baby to someone else. <laughs> um, but you know what? Yeah. No, it has been difficult. Although it's kind of proportional when he's sweet. It's just like, oh, I think they do that. Right. They do. So there's, good. they, it's evolved so that the two limits kind of balance mm-hmm. one another, or you would just leave the child, you know, <sighs> in the forest to be eaten by a tiger. You would just be like, nah, I'm not dealing with this. Yeah. He's he's really sweet when he is in a good mood and he's you know willing to cooperate and mm-hmm. do things. He's he's adorable, and that gives you this like it's lack like of a it's just like a uh, some air, some fresh air when just when you need it, you're about to lose, and he does something really sweet, and mm-hmm. you're just like ah, okay, I can I can it's make I can abuse. do another day. It's almost abuse at the same time. It is you- abuse. <laughs> he'll he'll be like on you whinging crying just mm-hmm. breaking things screaming for the entire day and then all of a sudden we'll say dada play outside yeah. and you'll be like i have all of this anger that has been yeah. built and up said, over the day <laughs> that i just don't want to play with you mate you know but then you will you know yeah. you'll go out there and play and you'll be like all right but you're just like this is insane. It's like being in an abusive mm. relationship where the person's just hitting you constantly. But then that's and then at the end of the day, it's yeah. just like, oh, by the way, I love you. <laughs> You're just like, oh, my kid. Yeah, it is hard. I think, yeah, I wasn't expecting it Expecting it to be so hard, mm. having to. Um, it is funny how much you just get used to it, though, because it does yes, build up over was, time slowly. It's not like you just get thrown into the fray mm. all of a sudden. Now I... Although some days are just chaos, Mm -hmm. I know we have some sort of rhythm with them. Um, Even when I'm with them by myself, I know how things will go sort of like, yes, there'll be tantrums and crying and screaming and I'll be like, just, I just want a break. I just lock myself in the bathroom and like, give me five minutes. Mm -hmm. But I know, I sort of know how to handle them now. And, um... Yeah, I think I got used to it very quickly, just survival mode. <laughs> but I remember the first time I had them by myself, just, you know, Noah was having a horrible day and Joey was, as usual, screaming. <laughs> I had to call my neighbor. I called my neighbor, my friend. Ah, uh, Bridget, yeah. I was like, can you just please pop in? I just need <laughs> someone else here. You yeah. know when you feel so scared that you need an adult around? Mm-hmm. It's like, I just need someone. And she came in and, yeah, it was just really hard. And from there or from that day, it was mm-hmm. like, it just got better and better and better. And um, some days things just flow nicely and we handled it. I love the other day we just took, did you see how we took turns dealing with the crying? I don't remember. I got, I handled the first meltdown no I had and it was just like early in the day I was you know I had my batteries mm. were full and I was like <laughs> I, I got this yeah. by three o'clock I was like tap out get this child away from my eyesight just I do not want to see his face and you took over and you handled it like beautifully and we were just like go team <laughs> yeah, I know. yeah well I guess that's you know you have to just learn that rhythm and yeah. I think I saw that you were, you know, at your limit, at your wit's end. When you see me screaming, it's just like, Kel needs help. <laughs> I'm very patient, but... Yeah. And I like the fact that I can be this, like, source of comfort for him. So when he's screaming, I want to I wanna embrace, like, or I want to be with him unless I'm really depleted from my, yeah. you know... Well, some days it is just one thing after another. Yeah. Where you and and also when you try and do something specific for them, where you put in effort, you know, and they just yeah. throw it in your face mm-hmm. or just not into it at all, yeah. and you're just like, it happens often with you because you the ones you the one taking us out, mm-hmm. you the one driving. And let's it. go to the beach or something. The most brutal thing is, yeah, I want to go to the beach. 
I want to go to the beach. All right, let's get in the car. I want to go to the mm. beach. And then you get there. I don't want to go to the beach. Ah! Oh, and you're just like, are you fucking serious? <laughs> <laughs> like, I don't want to go to the beach either, Noah. But I'm here because I want, <laughs> I want you to enjoy the fucking beach. You know? Oh. And then we get here and you're just like, can we go home? And you're just like, ah, I'm going to leave you here, I want to watch, I want to <laughs> watch trucks. I know. That's it. Yeah, it is brutal. It is brutal. How's, but how's the, yeah. how are their languages going? I guess Joey, we have. Joey. Sorry, guys. You can see it with Paris. Um, you, yeah, Joey's um, yet to say anything more than mama, dada. She pulled that out only a few weeks ago, right? But no, no, no is. No, it's, um, I don't know, probably 50 50 English and Portuguese. Um, I, I have to admit, I should speak more Portuguese with him. I have to keep being on Kel all the time. Same in English. But I've. I, it's improving. I've and just been mixing the very languages. Mindful. I know. It's so hard. <laughs> it feels like we created our own sort of language that is a that is English and Portuguese combined. And we speak this language here now. Mm-hmm. Really well, weird. I think what's happening with the brain is you effectively just pull the easiest yeah. thing out at any time. And if you know that he understands the word green yeah. instead of veggie more, you often just insert the word. That's what's happening. And also using the wrong words for things, which really irritated me that in the is beginning. so cute. Because he would confuse things. So, Kel would make a hot chocolate and Noah would call it mingau in Portuguese, <laughs> which, which means porridge. And so, <laughs> Kel's just like, whatever, it's porridge. Did you want I some know. porridge? You want some porridge, Noah? I and know. I would always be like, what? why is he having porridge before he goes to bed? And you'd be like, stop porridge, it's hot chocolate. I'm like, oh, God. Oh, it's so cute. <laughs> no, my favorite one at the moment is bateritas. Oh, uh, yeah, <laughs> <wrong>. batteries. <laughs> um, he calls batteries bateritas, which is not neither it's not English a word. or Portuguese. Batteries. Just, just he made up his own thing. I just love it. That's Crap. the hardest part, too. A lot of the time, you say a word that he hasn't heard before and he tries to say it and mispronounces it. You think it's cute. Not you, but like people. Yeah. And so, you becomes, you say it again and it becomes a thing yeah. and then he keeps saying it. Like, <laughs> for ages, he called birds caca. He still does. Yeah. Every now and then, he says, oh, caca. Yeah. But it's like, it doesn't mean any. I don't know where that came from. You from just said quack, it. From quack, quack. Oh, okay. Yeah. The duck says quack, yeah. quack. And so he said caca. caca. And right. he would think every single bird was a duck. Yeah. When he was little, every single little. duck is a bird, yeah. Yeah. Yeah, so, yeah. he was using caca. So... But that's the hardest part. I have no idea how it's going to go because at the moment he seems to be mixing both languages quite a lot. Mm. Sometimes he'll say entire sentences in Portuguese, sometimes in English. Most of the time it'll be a mix. And it's, I think, I feel like because of daycare, he's there three days a week. And because everyone else that he interacts with here speaks yeah. English, his stronger language is English that he uses as sort of a default. Mm -hmm. But that's then true. if he hears us speaking in Portuguese, he often interacts in Portuguese with English inserted in. Yeah. And often if he can't, if he's speaking English, but he can't think of the word in English, he'll just use the Portuguese one. Yeah. So, you do end up with a, a mix at times. And I love the accent. <laughs> <laughs> no. Well, I was it's saying okay. that, yeah, so he got, he's already gotten the pronunciation down pretty well. I mean, he still has issues with some of the consonants. So, I don't think he says the TH yet. No, and he'll no, no, no. he'll confuse like he he's saying, saying cat, cat yeah. instead of catch yeah. today. So it is interesting those more complicated consonants take mm -hmm. longer, and probably the diphthongs and the vowels too. Yeah, uh, I haven't really paid too much attention to the Portuguese. I don't know if he's getting things like the nasal consonants. Like I think he can do no <gasps> yeah, instead of no well. right or now. He's doing well. I think he's just. I'm. To be honest, I think English a bit will always be stronger yeah. because, you know. But for me... If Unless he, he goes there and stays Portuguese, there for a while. Yeah. If he understands Portuguese and you keep... Yeah. And I have to remind myself to speak more Portuguese with him. And you keep it Portuguese alive in the house. Mm -hmm. that's, that's better than most people. Oh, for think, sure. Yeah. For sure. I, I mean, I've met a lot of people who just tapped out. Yeah. Even though they were migrants and they just used English. Mm -hmm. And they're like, ah, screw it. I can't be bothered. Maybe. Yeah, the neighbours, yeah, the neighbours. <laughs> Although they're, I think, Australian-born Serbians. Ah, uh, okay. So, they learnt Serbian from their parents. Okay. But then I think they've just decided they're not going to teach their kids. Mm. They're like, but, but I don't know. But it would be nice to have a secret language that we can talk about the kids in front of them. Yeah, that's why I told you learn French. I know. Hurry up. Yeah. I can get my French back up to speed and we can have a secret <laughs> language. 
Although they'd probably learn it pretty quickly. Yeah. Just pulling, yeah. Uh, the other thing was that Noah had learned stress. I made a little video today that I put up on Instagram where Noah wanted me to come outside. Mm. And he yelled at me, you're going outside. Mm. And I was like, holy crap, he's two and a half years old and he already is starting to understand the use of stress in mm. English. English is a stress time language. I think Portuguese is too. Okay. Right, where you have dicionário. Dicionário. Dicionário, yeah. right. You'll have, you'll emphasize certain parts, certain syllables within words. Okay. But then you would probably also say, you know, esse é meu dicionário. Yeah. This is my dictionary. Yeah. And so you can emphasize words as well. And so mm -hmm. he did that with you're going outside. <laughs> and then afterwards he was like, you're going outside outside and i was like wow he's already picking up how to use yeah. stress to change the meaning of sentences so he said you're going outside as in you not mum not mm. joey not anyone else you are you're going outside yeah, but then as opposed to inside or somewhere else he said you're going outside outside yeah that's and i was like funny. holy crap he can already he, he'll have no idea consciously mm. but he's already getting it and then mm -hmm. I tried making this video with him, uh, yeah, it was cute. and he wouldn't just—he sh wouldn't shut the fuck up. Afterwards, he kept saying it, chasing me around everywhere. Yeah, that's you're that's going out, so you're yeah. going out, so you're going. Out. I'm like, all right, now that's enough, Shashega. Uh, that's enough, Jesus. <laughs> like, shut up. Cute. Yeah, cute. I know. Yeah, it is so funny how much they are just constantly um, wanting to repeat what you say. Mm. And today he said, "I love you" for the first time, and I was just like, I almost oh. cried. Oh, How was crying. it? Like, what happened? Oh, well, he was watching TV and I just said, you know, I was there playing video games, chilling out at the end of the day before he goes to sleep. Mm -hmm. And I just said, you know, chamo Noah, chamo, which is Portuguese for I love you. And he turned around and was just like, chamo. <gasps> <laughs> and then kept watching. And I'm like, it was one of those things where he probably didn't know what he was saying. He probably just repeated what he's heard us say to but him all the it time. it a lot yeah. that when you're like, ooh. I yeah, know. when your kid first says, and I love you. I had Jesus. one of those moments the other day. It wasn't with I love you. It was I was leaving his room. I put him to sleep. I mean, put him in his cot. I was about to leave the room. I said, na na, honey. And he was like, na na, my mind. Like, he mm -hmm. never replies. He was always like, ah, whatever. <laughs> mm -hmm. He was like, yeah, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. sucking his thumb. I was like, na na, my mind. I'm like, oh, mm -hmm. so sweet. I love that. Little things that give you some, something to. Hold on. <laughs> Not strangling over. Yeah, that's the, it's the icing yeah, on the sometimes terrible really cake. Hard. Anyway, yeah. we can probably finish up the episode there and let you sleep so that you're oh, ready to face another day tomorrow. <laughs> yeah. She's already making noises. I know. We've got the monitor hiding behind the camera here so that Kel can hear. She's terrible. If terrible. she goes. <laughs> I didn't know I would have a baby that is so difficult. Well, you had, didn't you have the sleep consultant just tap I had, out? Was I like had several sleep consultants and one of the, the last one I contacted, she was like, this kind of baby is really hard to do with. <laughs> I can get your money and tell you that she'll be different in two weeks, but it's not going to happen. I would rather not get your money and be honest with you. It might take six months. It <laughs> might take, you know, it might take a full week. Uh, it's just uh -huh. not. Uh, at least she was honest it about it. Yeah. Some of the other ones were just like, yeah, I'll take you $300 and just then just do this. $300. Here's some here's some she notes. Was... Just do these things and you're like, but I've... that's it? Yeah. it's re Some days I'm like, like seriously, some days I'm like, what have I done? You know, it's so different and so hard. But mm. all the days I'm like, I'm just in I would just embrace it. That's Joey, <laughs> you know. Joey's I know. unique. Uh, don't She's, fight it. Yeah. There are the good, you know all the sides of like Noah would not never he would not sleep unless he was in his room you know his house and things he was very um used to having his own thing mm -hmm. Joey sleeps when she sleeps she can sleep in the pram she can sleep in the car so she's yep. always on the go anyway so we just got pros and cons yeah, yeah. I better go to bed <laughs> So, you guys, hopefully you've enjoyed this and, yeah, send us a message and let us know if Please you guys are going through the <laughs> same struggles because I think that's the thing. You always mm. feel like you're alone, but you don't yeah, realize that there much. are so many other people out there in the same or similar or boat, right? Yeah. Or worse, yeah. Anyway, see so, you guys. Yeah.